So my little sister came through to get her nails done today and she's going on holiday, so it's only right that I slay those bad boys. The only girl that's gonna get me to do her nails on a Sunday, so it's only right that I had my coffee, otherwise I will scream. Anyway, she had Bio Bomb, which she's had for quite a few weeks. And of course, we had to start by doing a removal because she wants to go back and give acrylic a try. And then we had a pizza break, a bit of ristorante and as the happy stars. In the meanwhile, done her toes while she was soaking her hands. How beautiful are these? I was so impressed. And then she had another snap break. She was actually getting on my nerves by this point, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, we started the new set. I started to slap those tips on and cut them down. I thought this level was like quite sexy for a holiday, but she wanted them shorter, which kind of annoyed me to be honest. But anyway, of course I had to prep. I always love to blend my tips like properly because I just feel like when I lay the acrylic and I get the shape in really, really nicely, it's so much easier. And to be honest, by this point, we were probably about three arguments deep. I think the fact that I'd already done toes and a soak off, my patience was just really wearing thin and I felt like she wasn't cooperating with me. Anyway, I laid the acrylic and told her to go and scrub those hands, but of course she was watching Game of Thrones and was sat there like a zombie, which was annoying me even more. So I thought I'd add a base to the French tip, so I used the D&D Sheer Pink called Sheer in the City, which I just think adds a, like a nice little foundation to a French tip. I mean, you don't have to. The uh, acrylic powder was enough, but I just think it looks super cute. And then went in and did a French tip. I'm not sure why the French tip was just taking me so long today, but um, we got there in the end eventually. And I also love using this D&D, I think it's called French Tip White as well, because you only actually need to do like literally one layer. Sometimes when you do a French tip, you need to do multiple layers, which is annoying. And then we went in with a cute little evil eye, something really simple. I'm not gonna lie, I did wanna do a more fun design to begin with, but once I'd done this, I absolutely loved it. And then of course the Jelly Gel Super Shiny Top Coat, non-white, my absolute favourite because it's honestly so shiny and this will keep your nails shiny for so long and the thing I love about it the most is it's non-yellowing, so you know sometimes when you do a French tip and it turns yellow, this will literally stay white forever. And then the Jelly Gel Guava Jelly Cuticle Oil, my absolute favourite scent. It's only right that you finish off with a little bit of shine and oil those cuticles. Oh look at them! They are stunning. No, I love these so much. I was annoyed at first that they were so basic, but these are really giving what they're meant to give. They're giving Morocco. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs>